Hi, I'm Kiran Jessel, your Miss Universe Malaysia 2016, and this is Pamper My Star. Kiran Jessel, 20 Langor! Kiran Jessel, she aspires to run her own orthodontic practice someday. Your Miss Universe Malaysia 2016 is... Kiran! Hey Kiran, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. So, could you tell us um, how was your journey to Miss Universe started? How did it all begin? When I was younger, my sister and I used to watch pageant shows and we used to look up to these beautiful girls. At that point of time, in Venezuela, I used to win a lot and we had newspaper cuttings of each and every beauty queen at that point of time. And so last year, after my A-levels, I had about seven months gap between when I was going to start my dentistry course and I was really itching to apply but I was really scared because I was such a shy girl back then, very timid and I never thought, you know, I could represent my country on such a big platform. My mom was a finalist for the Mrs. Major World under the classic category and she joined for fun to, you know, just gain experience and she was like, you know, if I am doing it at this age after having two children, what excuse do you have to be scared? So just go out there and have fun. And so I listened to her and I applied and I think it was one of the best decisions I made. Mm, looking back, how would you rate your performance? At that point, of course, I gave my all. I had no experience in the modeling industry, haven't, didn't take a photo shoot before, didn't you know, walk on the runway or anything of that sort. So I gave it my all as much as I could back then. But now, of course, I've improved tremendously and the more I prepare for this universe, you know, the more confident I get. So I'm really looking forward to that. Mm, you have met the new batch of Miss Universe Malaysia. What are the advice that you could give them? I think they have to each own up to their, their differences and their individuality. Because um, a lot of people, when I joined the pageant, I thought they were looking for a certain type of person, a certain type of personality. But in honest, they're just looking for something that stands out. So if you're if you're confident being yourself and you know if that is what sets you apart, then go ahead. Hmm, the final is approaching. So you know the judges they ask you a lot of questions. Mm, what would you answer if they ask you what would be the three things you would like to share about Malaysia? Three things that I would like to share about Malaysia. One, we're very friendly people and we're always so accepting and warm of other people's opinions and cultures. Two, we have amazing food, we have different cuisines. And three, we have, diff we have beautiful islands that are you know, undiscovered, untouched. For example, we have in Sipadan, and we have all these beautiful small islands in Langkawi as well that no one actually goes to or explores. So. Mm. Okay, being a Miss Universe, you're always on the go, you have events to attend. So, what are your tips to stay healthy and beautiful all the time? One, you have to drink a lot of water because you know it, it regulates your metabolism and everything. And two, whenever I come back from the event, the first thing I do is remove my makeup. I think it's really important because under that thick layer of makeup, you know, you don't want clogged pores, you don't want pimples to come out. So I always wash my face and I hydrate my face a lot. Hmm. Is there anything that people don't know about Kiran Jassau? That people will be surprised to find out about you. Before the pageant, I would hardly wear makeup, probably just, you know, eyeliner here and there, a bit of mascara. No, actually, I hate mascara and I never used to wear lipstick. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Wow. I hated it. I used to eat my lipstick up, or mm. whenever I applied, I would remove it immediately because I didn't like how it felt on my lips. But all that had to change. Is that, mm, speaking of which, was it difficult for you to like apply your makeup all the time when, when you were in this competition? Um, it wasn't very difficult because it was a slow transition. I didn't immediately start applying very heavy makeup. So I took my time. I learned a lot of uh, I learned how to make uh, put makeup on from video tutorials. So I think gradually I learned how to control my makeup, you know, apply just the right amount. And for different events I would apply different um, thickness of makeup as well. So that really helped with the whole transition. Mm. Speaking of makeup, can we have a peek at your makeup pouch? Sure, why not? 
Okay, so these are my basic stuff, which I found to be really uh, good. So that's my foundation that I use. I recently switched to NARS because it's full coverage and you can uh, you can control the thickness as well. If you want it thicker, you can just sort of you know add more to it. And then that's my loose powder. I don't wear compact powder. Um, that's mascara from NARS as well. That's my concealer from NARS as well. Are you a big fan of NARS? Uh, I think their products are really good. Mm -hmm. And oh, this is amazing. It's from Maybelline, but it's to date one of the best eyeliners I've worn, I've used. And then that's my highlighter. This is a this is a really nice shade of uh, shading slash contour. So it's not a very dark shade. But if you just want like a bit of warmth on your face, that's a good color. Mm. And then, oh, this is my to go to eyeshadow palette. So this is a must. Mm. Really I nice. agree. Mm -hmm. And this is my blush now. It's like my basic blusher. So it's not too strong and it has a bit of like highlights inside. Eyebrow kit and another eyeshadow palette. And that's it actually. Oh, cool. So do you actually bring this every time with you? Uh, to certain places, yeah, I do. Mm. So, um, beauty aside, like, what do you do when you are, you're having day off? How do you pamper yourself? Usually when I have a day off, I'm catching up on my sleep because my schedule is so hectic that, you know, I don't have time to sort of just lay in and rest in bed. And then I catch up with my mom and my dad and my sister. Just, you know, we watch TVs, we go out for a movie or we just catch up over a meal. And for my alone time, something I really like to do is go for a body massage. I think that's the my ultimate pamper time. Okay, so the fun part, I'm gonna give you 10 fire chat questions. You just tell me the first answer that pop up in your mind. Okay. Okay. If you could master any language, what would it be? Mandarin. I think it's a universal language and everyone should know how to speak it. Three qualities you look for in a man. Loyalty, kindness and intellect. Favourite Kardashian Jenner? Kendall. Favourite movie of all time? Shawshank Redemption. I think it's a great movie and there's just so much to learn from it. Mm, cats or dogs? Dogs. If you could trade lives with anyone for a day, who would it be? Angelina Jolie. She's so accomplished, she's beautiful and she has heart. Describe Elaine Daly in three words. Firm, confident and strong. Most used emoji. The cute one, you know the one with like the blushy cheeks, I think that's so adorable. What is the best advantage of being very really tall? You don't have to wear heels all the time. Best compliment you have ever received? I've got long and pretty eyelashes. Thank you for your time, Kieran. Thank you so much for having me. We wish you all the best in the final. Thank you. Please come and support. I will, I will.